What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. And if you're new here, hello. This channel is just basically about me building my E91 wagon. It is a N52 um, and it is a GM transmission 6AT, so automatic transmission. Um, but yeah, that's just a little bit of my um, car. If you um, haven't seen any of my videos, please go and view them. There is one of my build breakdown that I recently just did and you can know more about what I've done to the car. But if you're a returning subscriber or you're just returning on viewing my videos, hi and welcome back. Um, but please hit that subscribe button. It would help me out a ton. Um, but really just an update on what I'm going to be doing. Um, I have two things that I've been, um, well, I've been waiting on one thing and I've been working on another one. Um, I did a E90 M3 mirror conversion and I've been using stock parts um, and I've been purchasing and building them slowly. So I purchased... Um, the E90 M3 mares, the OEM ones, and they actually fit on pre-LCI mares. So the mare caps are the same, um, the fitment is all the same, and I will include that video of where I got this information from, so shout out to that one random guy that I found on YouTube, and I'll be putting that link in the description below. I have no affiliation to him whatsoever, but it did help me out on building these mares, uh, because I've been searching, searching, searching for uh, E90 M3 mares, and I've just been getting nowhere. You know, I had a couple of scammers and I didn't fall for it. So that was another thing. So I just said, you know what, screw it. I'm gonna make my own mares. And the process worked out just fine. I'll be showing you them in a bit. Um, but all that I did was I followed those, I followed the video and I followed the part numbers. All I just purchased originally were just like the little, the little U clips or whatever, the little U mirror caps and put them on and they fit immediately. So got those painted or it actually came in black. Um, and then um, I just purchased carbon fiber mirror caps because that's what I was gonna go with anyway. So I didn't buy the OEM ones because it didn't really make sense for me if I was just gonna buy carbon ones. So I purchased that. And all in all, I was at $280. It was like 124 the actual M3 mirrors, um, the actual like mirror caps. And then um, it was like another like a hundred and like, 30 or something like that. I forgot the number, but I to buy actual legit um, OEM oh yeah, or actual legit um, carbon fiber um, mirror caps. So I did that and then I will be showing them off the car before I put them on and show my final um, representation. I just need to buy one piece. And I'll be showing you that. I'll be like inserting a photo in the video of what I'm gonna be showing and then going from there. So um, another thing that's coming in today is going to be my E90 M3 strut bar. Um, it's an upgraded one from Ultra Racing, so I'll be doing an install video about that. And it's basically a plug and play, so it's going to be more rigid and when I'm going on track days. And I will be going to the Circuit of the Americas, but I won't be racing on the track. I'm just going to be viewing that um, this March. March 6th or the 7th is going to be a little lap shootout, so I'll be posting also a video about that and just an experience because there's also going to be a car show and everything like that. So. Um, let's get to it. I'll be showing you the mirrors and what I did, and then I'll be showing you the install of the mirrors, and I'll also be showing you the install of the strut bar when that comes in. So stay tuned for more. So here's the final product of what I put together. So this is one piece right here. Um, and like I said, the video that I will put in the description below will tell you the part number in which to purchase. And this is another part separately. So there's two parts in one. Um, the only other part that I'm missing is the actual mirror piece because there's another piece on the actual M3, uh, which I will show you when I get out to my car. Um, and then, so yeah, I glued this off right here and um, to ensure that they're not gonna fall off or anything like that. And it's just the beautiful carbon um, and it's looking awesome. I'm just super stoked about these. So it's gonna make my car a little bit more aggressive. And of course, I got my handy dandy pry tool which will help you take the stock mirrors off and not break any tabs or anything like that. So I'm gonna be using this and we'll go from there. As I just ended the other video, this immediately came in. So here is the upgraded strut bar from Ultra Racing. Um, I'm super happy with the quality. It looks so beautiful. This is gonna definitely add rigidity to my vehicle as I do drive it. Um, and track it. So I will definitely put this to the test when I do go to an autocross event and show you guys my review. So now I'm finally matching with a front and rear um, ultra racing strut bar. On the rear, unfortunately, 
you will not be able to locate the rear one. If you do, it's they're super rare. So I definitely have faith in you guys trying to find some. So I found a rear one that, of course, like I said before, they do not make anymore. But I will be installing both of these on my car right now. So I'll be heading out there and I'm just super excited and I can't wait to throw this on. So I decided that I'm going to work on the big piece first. Um, it's pretty simple and plug and play. Um, it's only if you have the M3 strut bar. You cannot do this if you don't have this. So it's just basically these eight bolts and then you put it on and you're good to go. I got to take off these zip ties because I, and also modifying the cowl right here as well. It does help to take this on and off and it does make it look cleaner. So I have a modified cowl. If you don't, you're going to have to remove the cowl in order to get to your M3 strut bar. Okay guys, I'm back with the updated version and yes, it is all put on together. I just did a little bit of work off camera. Um, everything fit up correctly and it also does clear my hood because as you could see, it's pretty substantial. Of course, it was made for them three. So that's made for them three right there, but I am loving it. It's very well put together, very sturdy. I'm very happy with the results. Um, so I will be putting on the mirror caps now, but I just wanted to do this first. It's pretty happy. I will probably do the mirror caps later on today. Um, my mom's coming on the way, so I'm gonna go say hi to her real quick and then we'll go from there. So I already put on the mirror caps. Um, this is just me just doing a little bit of recap before I even show you the final product with the videos. Um, in my opinion, it took me three hours to put on these mirror caps to get them clipped in. I don't know if it's because it just wasn't lining up, but with the video that I saw, I mean, it lined up correctly. It was all OEM parts um and all that good stuff so maybe it's because of the carbon fiber instead of the actual um mirror cover instead of that it went over to carbon fiber maybe because that's it or i don't i really do not know um, but i would suggest just probably just doing the actual like different rep but on um, on my end i'm still going to be purchasing e90 m3 mirrors and then going from there but if you do have a pre lsai model try it out i mean to me like it was around like I think I said before 250, I think it was a little bit on the high side. I think I was around like 200 bucks, somewhere around there. But I mean, it was a good shot. Um, I was able to still put them on. Now they're, they fit up correctly. Um, I was able to get that third tab, but it just took me a very long time, but it was still um, to my liking uh, with the OEM products and stuff like that. So it's all up to you, it's your decision. Check out that video that I put in the description below. I, fi I figured out what uh, what the name was, it was E90 Fanatics. Um, go check out that video. Again, I'm not affiliated with him, it just helped me out. Uh, put those mares on, he went over all the parts review. Maybe I missed a couple of parts, who knows? Um, but just go from there. And even building your own mare off of the pre-LCI and transferring over all the guts and stuff like that, still is cheaper. It does take some time, but it still is cheaper and you're saving in the end because the lowest, you know, the cheapest that I can find at E90M uh, M3 mares for were, you know, um, $800 and putting all this stuff together would be around, including, you know, the, the part that actually attaches to the door would probably be around 500 bucks. Don't quote me on that, but you're still saving time or no, you're not really necessarily the same time, but you are saving money but it's gonna take time to put in and put it and swap it over. But you have something that will work. And I have the folding mirror option. So it was also tougher trying to find the folding mirror option in order to fit on my car. And when I did, he was a scammer and I caught him, reported him immediately. So that should that was taken care of. But just be on the lookout, watch out, and ensure that if you're being specific with an E91 or E90, it has to come off of an E90 in order to fit on your wagon or your sedan. You cannot fit a uh, 92 or 93, the vert or the coupe onto your, onto your door. So be on the lookout for that. And so enjoy the rest of the video. So I finally put on the carbon fiber OEM E90 mirrors and they fit pretty, eh? I don't know if I would suggest it, um, but I mean, it is OEM. Still having trouble trying to get this like um, top left upper clip getting to be poked in, but it, they're pretty solid. They're on there. Um, so I still am gonna probably be on the search for it and then get purchase the whole E90 M3 mirror. But for right now, it suffices. It works very well with my vehicle. Um, it looks nice, it's very subtle. You can't really tell about the carbon until you're up close. 
And of course, the lines match the hood, so it is going in the same direction and it's made out of the same carbon. So I'm very happy with that. Um, again, um, I have my door or my hood closed and it's still clear in the bar. There's no bulge, right? But you can see how dusty my car is from all the handprints when I felt it. So there's no bulge, everything fits correctly. So I would suggest the E90 M3 strut brace conversion. It works out very well. Very happy with the end results of both little mods that I've done to it. And I know that I'm gonna take out the strut bar. I'm probably gonna do a video about that later, but I'm still waiting on my M Sport bumpers to come in. And once that comes in, I'm probably gonna drive her hard. But for right now, eh, I'm waiting on that, but I'm loving the mares, very much loving them. Look very beautiful, look at that. Just the gloss, it just touches up. It accents my duck bill, accents my mares and my hood. So good to go. Hope you guys are staying safe out there.